Hi guys, so this is a review of this Omway Commander V1. This is the updated version of uh, the Omway Commander V1 where you have this um, all the buttons label and um, this one with this one you can uh, adjust the uh, ratio 16 by 9 and uh, 4 by 3. In terms of picture quality it's very clear it's very good I'm not sure about the reception because I'm not testing it now I'll be testing it in a later video so this is by 16 by 9 as you can see it's really looks really good and the 4 by 3 hang on I'm sorry about that so this That was 16 by 9, this is 4, 3. Let me toggle through that again. Okay, 69. So as you can see, the picture quality is really, really good. Four by three. Since that I can show you the screen quite well, I'm going to show you the DVR. Just press and hold, and then press recording. You have to press the buttons, the uh, recording button, and hold it for. Uh, about one second or something like that to bring out the uh, recording function. You can see the menu inside. I'm trying hard to get this into view. But anyway, you get the idea. It's very similar to any other uh, DVR out there. It's very easy to use. Press and hold again to the right, to the left, left, exit. And that's it guys. Um I think this Gogos is worth the money. And um I don't want to compare this with any other Gogos, just the Gogos itself with this one. Um in terms of the build quality, it's actually quite nice. It's very light, and the antenna connector is also very tightly uh, fit fitted. Uh, the only concern that I have, or the only complaints that I have, is really the straps are not very good quality. The forms not good quality, and also this battery connector thing. It can break very sooner or later, so somehow you need to be able to uh, to be very careful in uh, using this connector. So apart from that, I think this is a very good goggles. I was very skeptical at the beginning of this goggles, um, but uh, after trying this out, I think. I would recommend these goggles for anyone to buy. Especially you can also change the uh, aspect ratio of the video. And the only other complaints that I have is really the fan. It's really too strong. You can dry out my eyes very quickly. And the additional things that you need to buy is the diopter lens. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Remember, quadcopter is not rocket science. See you next time. 
So I have here the uh, Omway Commander Gogos version 1. This is the updated version with the um, buttons being labeled. So comes in this box. So it has 32 degrees field of view, DVR, you can take a range of uh, voltage batteries, NTSC power auto selections, uh, HDMI input, diversity, one key auto search. Okay, let's open this up. So it comes with this instructions uh, booklet. On the one side is Chinese, the other side is English. So it's just a standard uh, specification type of brochure or manual. So this one is the base model. It doesn't come with a uh, head tracking uh, module. It comes with this spare thick form. And so it comes with its own uh, This is the video cable for video in and video out. This is for the battery. You plug in your different voltages battery to these plugs, and then you plug this end to your goggles. So it comes with its own uh, onware branded patch antenna and uh, circular polarized, and this is SMA connector. So this one doesn't come with batteries. So it comes in this uh, zipper case. And that's the goggles. It feels really light. And this is where you plug in your uh, power antennas on these two sides. This one is for head tracking or fan. If you press uh, this one for fan, the fan will turn on for 10 minutes. DVR, mode, channel band, uh, micro SD card. Headphones, IPD adjustment, AV in, AV out, HDMI in. And so I think this is the fan. <coughs> this is where you put it on the nose support. The forms feel soft. This, feel, this feels really light and should be comfortable. So you have this over your head. So you say you plug in your power cable here. And this is where you plug in your light pole, light pole battery. So let me use this one. This is two ends. Okay. 
Let me put on the antenna first. Remember you always point this uh, the panel side to the front. Like that. So I hope you can see the screen inside. I think if you press and hold the mode button, you will go into uh, it will switch off the RF mode. I'm on the screen display there. Let me just see what on the screen display is. It gives you the uh, voltage of uh, the battery. So, um, this one takes um, diopter lenses and I think I need diopter lenses for this because when I put it over on my eyes I couldn't see anything. Um, the thing that I can now see um, is not quite good is the foam. You can see that it's very thin and it can come up quite easily. Let me just take the uh, battery off and put it over my head and see how it feels like so it feels really light and also very dark so it can block off the uh, lights really well and um, it sits on my nose quite well it feels quite comfortable But the straps is a bit too big for my uh, head, but it's all right. It can still stay on. Yeah. Other than that, it feels quite nice. But then the thing I notice is that there's a little bit of light leakage under the nose area. Yeah, that's fine. This um, antenna connector doesn't. It's it's quite tight, so it doesn't move around. So the buttons feels quite nice. So it's easy to press. The construction wise, I'm not sure whether this can sustain a hard uh, drop, but um, yeah, other than that, it looks pretty good. I would have preferred putting the battery um, on the straps here, but by doing it this way, it's you probably you will able to lighten the uh, weight on your face so maybe it's, that's a good way to do it other than that the uh, my first impression of this goggles is that uh, it's really it's quite nice no complaints here so 
So let me just give, quickly give you a quick 3D view of these Kogos. That's the front, the bottom, left hand side, right hand side, the top. and the lenses this is where you put in your diopters if you're short-sighted and long-sighted like me you really need the diopters to be there this is the SD card I'm going to use the test and you need to put it in this way I think yep it's quite easy to push it in So I've got the um, diopters lens from my other goggles and I hope that this will fit Oh yes, it fits You really have to push it in. The problem is with this one is that the form gets in the way and um, you just really need to push it in hard. I'm not sure how to get it out later on. It may be easy, it may be difficult. So I got my diopters in. I still feel that the form is not a very good quality here. <coughs> Let me plug in the battery and see whether it works or not with the diopters oh yes it's definitely much clearer I put it over my head yes I can see yeah, I'm, I'm, ju I'm adjusting the uh, IPD and it's very clear it shows me um, channel 1 um, band A and then I have 7.3 volts of battery inside there I press on the uh, mode button for about 5 seconds it goes into the uh, AV in mode Let me press the DVR button, see whether it goes in or not. So you press it once, it records. You press it. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how to get the recording off
So to get into the menu of the uh, DVR recorder, once you go into AV mode, you press and hold the uh, DV DVR button for a couple of seconds, and it has a very similar menu to uh, your standard DVRs. You can see that. So you have a um, playback execute, then you press the button towards you. Uh, you have format your card, and then if you want to go into the menu, you uh, press the uh, switch to the right, and then to the down, and then press OK. Now and right to the right again, it will format. It's very similar to all your other uh, DVRs that you get from Yixing or Shot. So it has playback format language record off default. You can have auto start, auto start continuous, same thing, similar ones. You can have audio on or off. Then that's it, that's the very simple uh, DVR menu. So if you want to play back, you just go to play back uh, option and then just move the stick to the right and it goes to play back. And then if you want to exit the menu, just move the sticks to the left, exit. And then if you want to go back to your receiver, then just press on the mode buttons for 5 seconds and go back there. If you press the channel uh, slash band buttons, if you press it once, you will go through the different channels. If you press and hold, it goes to a uh, different band. And then you press short press, you go to a different channel. Press and hold for about one, two, three, three seconds. Yep, three seconds, and then you can toggle through the channels. The fan button, let me press it. Yes, once you press the fan button, it is on the HD slash fan. Um, the fan starts and then you can feel the air actually flowing in front of you. I'm not sure whether this is a good thing or not because if it's too blowing too hard, it may dry out your eyes pretty quickly. So yeah, I'm not really sure about that one. So DVR. I need to figure out how to do recording and also how to scan channels. So this is when you start your fan, just press it. Press and hold the mode button for about 5 seconds, it will go into AV mode. And then if you want to go through the menu, just press and hold this, it will go through, gives you the menu and then you select up and down and then you go left or right to select the relevant sub menu items and then if you want to confirm just go go right again to exit the um, uh, menu just go left so this is where you uh, change band and channel so just pushing and holding it you will change the band and then short pressing will go through the channels and then long press this again it will take you out to uh, receiver mode so you can hear the fan heavy in heavy out IPD adjustment so I have um, adjusted the um, IPDs 
it, it looks good. And the um, picture is pretty big for 16 by 9. And it has um, the recording um, on the screen display, just say REC. <coughs> so if you press the DVR uh, button once, the uh, REC on the screen display will start blinking. And if you press it again, it will stop. <coughs> Let me check whether this one actually got recorded. So I press and hold the um, mode button, press and hold the uh, DVR, go to playback. Yes. So that's how the uh, recording works. So you have the on the screen display showing you REC. So if you press this button once, it will tell you, it will start flashing and tell you that the recording is on. And then press it again, the recording stops. Take you up, takes you out of the menu. Press this. Goes back to receiver. So anyway, the fan feels really, really strong, and um, I can't stand the strong uh, airflow. So this can be an issue for some people. The phone doesn't seem to be of very good quality. Also, the strips also not of very good quality. The other thing that I'm concerned about is the uh, this battery uh, filter thing. Because uh, if you look at this, um, it looks very flimsy for the connection. And um, what happens if this breaks? Can you plug in your battery directly to the goggles? So other than that, all the functionality, they're easy to operate, easy to use. So I need to check the um, video quality so I'll get a, a quad and I'll check it out so if you go into the uh, AV mode I think if you move the sticks to the right it can adjust brightness And then you press it again, it goes up. If you're in the, um, once you adjust the brightness, you press the button. You push the sticks to the, um, away from you, you get contrast. And then you adjust the contrast by moving the sticks away and towards you, and then you press it again. And then if you press the uh, mode button while it is in the uh, receiver mode, you can toggle through AV 2D, AV 4 by 3, AV 3D, HDMI 2D, HDMI 3D, AV 2D, AV 4 by 3, you know, it will be 16 by 9, and then you can go to 4 by 3. Move the sticks to the left, to the right, you get bright, brightness and contrast, adjust, brightness adjustment.
Yep, so that's how it works. And pressing the channel band buttons, long press it. And then it goes to uh, auto search function. Press and hold maybe for five or six seconds. So press and hold this one. And then if you want to go to uh, the different uh, settings for uh, your video, you press this. And then if you want to change brightness, go to the right and then you change, change, change. And then you press again to select and turn contrast, press up and then change, change, change and press. So now I'm trying to test the, um, the camera and uh, the video, rec video quality with this. And then I just go through the uh, auto scan. So now it's searching. So it has already searched. It's pretty fast, probably about 10 seconds. The um, the video quality is actually very nice. It's very bright and it's very clear. Yeah, it's a very good quality. Now I'm on the fourteen by three mode. Let me try to see whether it give you see whether you can see this or not. Yeah, that's the video quality. It's a bit bright, but yeah, hopefully you can see this. I think you can change this to uh, 16 by 9. Oh, hang on. So you can actually change this uh, video to 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 just pressing the more button, short press it, let me show you. That's 4 by 3. Don't worry about this one, this is just the AV type and this is 16 by 9. Let me try to show you 16 by 9.
over 3 that's the 3D move don't worry about this one 16 by 9 The blurriness is because the camera is not focusing well. 4 by 3. Sixteen by 9. Okay, that's the end of testing for the picture.